thumbs up, thumbs up. You all know I remind you of this all the time. This was under the Trump administration. And I want to know what is the Biden administration. I want to know the latest of what the Biden administration is doing real quick. I'm reading this from QZ.com. This is an African publication. I read from Fox News before and some others before on the same topic about how under the Trump administration, they use $600,000 approximately of your taxpayer dollars to study Kenyan soldiers so that they could take black boys and men in Kenya so that they could use that knowledge and study is what they were going to do. I'm telling you, use it against our warrior class here in America. Watch this. It says that the two year $600,000 program says expectations of Kenyan men. What have I taught y'all? The U.S. government, y'all, for those of you that don't know. The a grant proposal, let me just read this other part. The grant proposed by the State Department's Bureau of, of Counterterrorism on January 12th, this was in 2018, aims to fund a project that looks at the ideals of masculinity. Some of y'all didn't know this, but if you watched the Vicky show, you know I reminded you of this for the past three years now. The link is in the chat. Listen. Who did I say? I said the State Department, y'all, while you're playing. In 2018, under the Trump administration, they used a $600,000 program for the State Department's Bureau of Counterterrorism, y'all, to study these black soldiers. Watch this. The two-year $600,000 program says expectations of Kenyan men to be what? Tough? Heterosexual? Aggressive? Unemotional? and achieving your government in recent history spent hundreds of thousands of dollars of your taxpayer dollars to study African boys and men, so-called ideals of masculinity. Why were they doing it? They claim they did it because of the number of men that were participating and what they said was terrorism over there in Africa. Child, please. And the government knows the only way that they can study that secret that causes them to be so successful. Soldiers that don't have the weaponry that the government has, but it's still giving America this work and still being a thorn in the side of the government. They use your dollars to do that study. And you all know that they're going to take that knowledge back that they learned from those black melanin soldiers and use it against our warrior class here in America. What did I say were the five things, the five ideals? I talk about this all the time. Tough. I said the government said this. Heterosexual. That's why I always say that they, there's a war against a black heterosexual man. Aggressive. Unemotional and achieving. The bussies I go after have none of those traits. They may have a piece, a, a, a fraction of one and none of the others. These are the qualities that make America fear. It is the black heterosexual masculine man. Yes. Tough, heterosexual, aggressive, unemotional, and achieving. These are the qualities of the old school uh, black Zulu soldiers, Zulu men, that was given the white colonialists that work. You guys have to understand that. You've got to understand that you are being tricked into ignoring your own man because they are the greatest threat and thorn in the side of white supremacy. Somebody talk black to me. The link is in the chat. I want you guys to study that. And then I want some of you reach out to Kamala, reach out to Simone Sanders, reach out to Kareem Jean-Pierre, reach out to Joe Biden, reach out to the deputy secretary and everybody else that's working in the White House and ask them what is the latest status 
of that study? And what is the U.S. government doing with that knowledge? And why did they use your very black taxpayer dollars to do it in the first place? I remind you all this of this all the time because it's relevant today. I'm trying to get you to understand why the war is so intense and why all of these different corporations and different people and things are working to make sure that your man is nowhere in the picture. Your State Department, as recently as 2018, engaged in this particular program. They're plotting family to destroy us, which is why I make my appeal to you League of Mammies. To not participate, to not assist our 466 year old open enemy, to understand the weight of the work that you do for them and the danger and the death even that you can unnecessarily bring to our people because of your participation and you being enamored with Zaddy. I'm done now. I've talked about that all the time. I've broken that whole thing down many times before and I'm never gonna stop talking about it because it's relevant and it has everything to do with why they're trying to cause and exacerbate the divide between the black man and the black woman. Thank you all so much for showing up. I can't wait to see you again.